All right, hey guys, it's the Golden Crafter here, and uh, today I have a little, uh, I guess you could call it, uh, it's not really a bud switch, it's like a wall activation torch thing. Uh, so basically, if you want if you want to hide an input, say, in a wall, let me just expand this. So say this is a wall, this is your floor, you just go up to a wall, place it there, and it would uh, activate your input. You could take your input from here 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 you can take it from a lot of places um but anyways uh so yeah i'm gonna show you guys how to make this and it's really simple so let me just build up here real quick and for the piston layout you just have a piston there piston there and you'll need one more piston but that's uh, later on the circuit um so now you want to place a redstone block underneath that sticky piston. A repeater on one tick coming out of the redstone block. And a redstone dust there to power that piston. Now you come over here, place a redstone torch, and dust there with another sticky piston. That's the last sticky piston you'll need. And then repeater with dust on top. And over on this side, it's a torch. And that's basically it. Uh, super, super easy. Um, let me just show you what the input or output would look like. So if you want a button, act, if you want to attack like a button, you could do that. You could just extend the pulse, do whatever with that. But uh, if you want to flip plot for a lever kind of button, you could just take it out like this. And then that's basically it. Now you get lever outputs. Um, so, so yeah, it's really easy to hide. It's a really good design to hide stuff on, inside of a wall. I, I like it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this little video and I'll see you guys next time.